Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here says, وَبَشِّرُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَأَمِلُوا صُوَالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ كُلَّمَا رُزِقُوا مِنْهَا مِنْ سَمَرَاتٍ رِزْقًا قَالُوا هَذَا الَّذِي رُزِقْنَا مِنْ قَبْلٍ وَأُوتُوا بِهِ مُتَشَابِحًا وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٌ مُطَهَّرَةٌ وَهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ And give good tidings. Good tidings to whom? To those who believe and do righteous deeds. And they will have gardens. Remember, for acquiring Jannah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions two prerequisites. Belief and righteous deeds. For release and from protection from the hellfire and to enter into paradise, we are not just going to need belief and faith, a combination of both belief and faith followed by righteous deeds. So if people are just doing righteous deeds and virtuous deeds and they are lacking the faith and belief, they will not be rewarded with Jannah as per the teachings and verses of Quran. And those who just have belief, but they are not doing these righteous deeds as taught by the teachings of Quran and Sunnah, then they do not have the right and they do not have the promise of Allah in the verses of Quran. So Allah is giving good tidings to those, number one, who believe. And then after belief and faith in the teachings and messages of Allah and Quran and Hadith, they do what? They do the righteous deeds. Then they will have gardens. Where? In the paradise. How will these gardens be? Beneath which rivers flow. Subhanallah. And whenever there, they are provided with provisions of fruits there from, they will say, this is what we were provided with before. Before where? In the world, in the life, in the world. And it is given to them in likeness. And they will have their in purified spouses. Allahumma ja'alna minhum. Allah make us one of them.